Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I am inspecting my two new hives today. It's the two uh, newt boxes that I installed about four weeks ago. They're four frame boxes. I spotted the queen in both, put them in, and I really haven't touched them since. I think I had a look at them once, but uh, at the four week mark, what I'm expecting to see on a four frame newt that's gone into a 10 frame box is some good building, right? And some good brood being laid by the queen. So. Uh, obviously, I want to spot the queen too because it's good practice for me. I need all the practice I can get where, where it comes to spotting the queen. And uh, just join me for these hopefully quick inspections on 4D Honeybee. I always wanted to try that. Okay, so I'm back on my first nuke that I installed this year. I haven't looked at this for a good 3-4 weeks. so. My expectations are that there's a healthy laying queen in there and the colony is growing. There's good activity at the front of the hive, which is always a good sign. Now, I've heard it said that that's not always a sign of the health of the hive, and I believe that to be true. But I do find that generally the activity in the front of the hive does show you a lot about what's going on. So, not much happening on the lid, that's for sure. It's okay. All right. First impression. Okay number of bees in there, nothing too fancy. Just gonna clean up some grass here and get some away. I always intend on doing stuff like this after the inspections, but after the inspections I'm usually so hot I just wanna get going. Alright, so let's have a look here. number of bees looking for the queen on the lid do not see her so we continue the inspection okay so we're gonna put this handy dandy frame holder over on this side hopefully there's enough room for it I don't think I've ever used it on this box yet there it goes and there is some pretty good production here now I'll let you see the frames as I pull them out. But this first one is one that was uh, completely undrawn out when I installed it. I suspect there will be some action on it. Let's see how much exactly. Get out of yeah, so they've drawn out the inside quite nicely. See that? The outside is still pretty much untouched, but that's okay. Looking for the bee on here, or for the bee, there's a few bees on here. Looking for the queen on here. Okay, no sign of her. So again, more important than finding the queen here is finding just sign of the queen, right? We wanna see some brood. We want to see good patterns. We want to see this colony multiplying at a good pace now that they've been in here for four weeks. And this next frame looks really good. Okay, come on up. Wow, okay, nice brood frame. Look at that. Really nice brood frame. It's got brood, it's got honey, nectar packed around it. Brood is emerging, so they're backfilling it with honey. With nectar, I guess, which will become honey. This side is, again, a mostly emerged brood frame as well. So that's a good sign, good frame. Going to take a quick look for the queen here. I haven't checked this hive yet for my, I haven't really checked any hives yet for my, I haven't treated this hive yet because I've only had it for a month. And I probably won't treat anything until the fall unless I see some really horrific sign of mites, and we do get a lot of mites in this area. It is something we have to be really vigilant about because they just survive. They thrive really nicely in this region for some reason. Okay, looking for the queen now. So far this hive seems nice and calm. So I'm gonna try and remain nice and calm. You can see I've pretty much abandoned the gloves, at least to start most of my inspections. 
just as the season wears on, I start to get more confident. Look at that beautiful brood frame. They haven't even drawn it out all the way, but they've already filled it with brood. Very interesting. Look at how thin it is. See how it's not quite drawn out to the ends yet? But hey, if it's working for them, what the heck? Look at that, they've got a queen cup started there already. See that? Just the queen cap there. Take a look if there's an egg in it. I'd be very surprised if there were one. No, no egg, it's empty. You can have a look at it too. Can you see with that bee in the way? Get out of the way, bee. For the queen. No sign. Okay, this next one is a very busy frame. A lot of bees on it. Looks like there's a lot of brood on it as well. This is a plastic frame. Every now and then I get one in the nukes. And a lot of people ask me about the plastic frames and the only thing that I don't like about them is they seem more flexible. I can go to pry them off and they bend a lot more than a wooden frame does. And I don't know if it's a good or bad thing per se, but it's just one thing that I note. If I had to decide myself whether it was good or bad, I'd say bad. I don't it doesn't feel as I don't know as secure when you're when you're releasing it. Another beautiful brood frame here. Not likely that the queen would be on this frame because her job is done here, but we'll still have a look. These these queen these bees are really light colored. And they seem really fuzzy around their head. More so than my other bees. Can you have a look at them? Can you see? Obviously, I would think, a different breed of bees. There's a yellow jacket trying to get his share. Definitely lighter colored than my other bees and the other hives I've just checked out. And kind of more fuzzy. And I don't mean just one or two bees, I mean all of them. Wow, another tremendous brood frame, look at that, larva just on the outside, Here. see the larva just on the outside, we'll probably find eggs outside of that, yes, eggs and smaller larva, so it's just like you can see the concentric lines of eggs on the outside, then larva, then capped brood. Just beautiful. Very textbook, this queen. This frame could use a little bit of honey, but because it's a new frame, it looks like she set her priority of laying eggs, which is what you want your queen to do, right? So she had them build it out just enough to lay eggs, and she's laid in them, and uh, you know, not even bothered with filling out the rest of it. Which is very interesting. I mean, it doesn't make me think that you know, I need to give her more room. There's still a bunch of frames that are undrawn out here. So, I'm happy with this hive, with the progress it's making. I don't think I will do anything to it other than observe it. I'm going to smoke it a little. Because again, these are starting to come out, hang around me a little too much. You can see how calm they are though. I mean, smoking really didn't do much to them at all. Okay. Just trying different camera angles, hopefully, so that you can see more action. But then if I end up just blocking it, it does no good, does it? Looking for the queen here. Do not see her. Okay, get this one back in. Next frames are not overly developed, but there are a lot of bees on them. A lot of bees in this hive in general. You know, it didn't look as much when I uh, 
when I first cracked the hive, but look at them all. This is the frame I'm about to pull. It's a brand new frame, four weeks ago, three weeks ago. And now one side at least is just covered in bees. And it doesn't take the yellow jackets long to come in and do their robbing, does it? They're all over this hive. Okay, let's pull out a couple more frames for you. And again, this is already considered a success because she's obviously in here and she's obviously laying quite happily. I'd like to see her, but whether I see her or not does not affect the, the fact that this is a successful nuke implant. Building this out nicely. She might be on this frame. Where are you, queen? Amazing how they're building stuff out. Just amazing. Okay, this next frame doesn't have much because it's uh, it's got it's one of three new frames that were back to back to back. I'll take a quick look on this last frame. It's a massive honey frame. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get it out of this box. This is incredible. It makes me want to. Uh, want to harvest this frame simply because it is massive. Look at this thing. Oh, look at how thick it is. Look at that thing. It's a beast. I guess they just had a bit of extra space in the nuke box to draw it out. And they did. Draw it out. They did. This must be one, two, like including the frame, it's about Oh, good. Three inches thick. Look at that thick. Okay, so I'll have a look for the queen on here. There is brood on here. I do not see her. Whoa, easy. Sorry, bees. Sheepers. Take it easy. Okay, let's see if she's on here. Okay, we'll get this hive shut down. It is a successful nuke installation. We'll go with that. Didn't find the queen, but that's okay. I need more practice, not her fault. And uh, that's it. We'll call it uh, one definite successful nuke transplant, transplant. And we'll check the other one out in a second here. Okay, so last inspection and different camera angle here. I think this is the best one. It, it's the front view. You really only see the stuff that's happening at the top of the hive, which is okay. I mean, you just lose the image when I bring the frames up to my face, but give me a comment. Let me know which angle you like best. I didn't like the other angle because I seem to be covering the camera up a lot. Wow, look at that burr cone. Holy smokes. Again, this is a nuke that I installed just coming up to four weeks ago now. Haven't really been in it at all since the install. But, I mean, this is a great sign that they're doing well. Look at all that burr comb there. They've built right up into the lid. Which I guess a lot of people say isn't a good thing because it means they need more, they need to build more. So again, if they are, you know, if they've filled up this hive, I can just add a second brood box. So, first sign is a very good one. We'll see how the rest of it goes. I think the ideal thing that I would like to do for an inner lid is what the University of Guelph does, which is just a, a piece of like a linoleum style cloth. And uh, I mean that means they don't get on top of the uh, on top of their frames at all. So it hinders their transport a bit, but at least none of this happens. Look at this. Look at that. My goodness. I mean it's full of honey. Obviously they're needing to fill the space, but there is still room to draw out here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six new frames that they still have to draw out. I guess in the time that it takes them to draw it out though, that's when they build the rest of this burr comb and fill it up. 
with honey instead. So anyway, something that I continually grapple with, but not a big deal in the scheme of things. So again, what we're looking for here, I want to see the queen if I can. I just want to see that she's laying and producing well and that there's lots of brood and that these numbers are, are, uh, are multiplying. And the early signs are very good for exactly that. So lots of bees you can see, lots of buildup of comb and honey. Outside frame I don't expect much of, as you can see here. hung up on the outside yeah yeah you can see this side nothing done this side very nice brood chamber being built honey on the outside you can see even though it's not completely filled in yet there's still plastic there they've already filled in and capped honey and she's probably already laid brood in here laid eggs in here so let's have a look nope this one's all honey all honey with some pollen specks have a look at it See that? It's a beautiful frame. Okay, let's get this one back in. Next frame is one of the frames that came from the nuke. It's a plastic frame, which I would expect to find a good amount of brood on. So that should be a frame that has probably already hatched out at least once, relayed, and could be in the process of rehatching. Oh, very heavy frame. Holy smokes. Yeah, nice brood frame. So very heavy and thick with honey on the outside. Brood all along the inside. Let's see if you can spot the queen and or spot some eggs here. Pollen. Some larva. And we do have some eggs here. Very nice. Smaller bees and darker than the previous uh, nuke. The other nuke was very, they were very light and very fuzzy, especially around the head. Good for the queen here. Guys, just a touch of smoke. There's a few bees in the air now. I'm trying to give the bees the benefit of the doubt. I haven't smoked much at all today. Oops, sorry, I just I pinched them. Okay. And so far, they're behaving quite nicely. Wow, another nice frame. So when they're just starting to cap off on my side, on your side, mostly nectar filled. On my side we'll have a good look at it, look for the queen as well. On this side you've got cat brood, larva, and eggs. Nice frame. Take a look at this. This is why I don't like this camera angle, because when I uh, want you to get the close-up, I've got to move all the way around the box. But anyway. Okay, have a look at that. You see how it's honey on the top of the frame. And as we move down, you can see there is some cap larva, some cap brood. As you continue to move down, then it becomes larva. And further down, it becomes eggs. Just like the other box, in this frame at least she laying from top to bottom. Which probably just associates to how they're building out, drawing out the comb. Beautiful. It looks like she's laid eggs in comb that is actually too short for the bees. But it may be that she's laying eggs and they're still building up the comb as she goes. Maybe, don't know. I'm not experienced enough to know that, but that's what it looks like from these observations. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. Another heavy, heavy frame. Yeah, 
good brood on this one. Do this side. Yeah, much of the same. Just looking for the queen now. No queen to be seen. Put it back in. And this frame, this frame should be drawn out. It has drawn out frames, original frames on either side. And that's what they usually start to fill out first. Just gonna smoke them down just a wee bit. Just need to get them away from the areas where I'm trying to put my fingers in. Wow, beautiful brood frame. On my side, it's completely cat brood. Again, a touch on the thin side. And on your side, same. Beautifully cat brood. Look at that. Okay, a quick look for the queen here. You know, the one thing that has happened a couple of times today is I've put my fingers on bees, but because I've got no gloves on and I'm kind of moving my fingers gingerly and cautiously, I'm not squishing them and they're not stinging me. You're feeling the buzz, you're making an adjustment, bee goes away, no harm, no foul. So that's a really good sign. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, we'll keep uh, looking at the next couple of frames in search of our queen. She's doing a good job in here. I've got no issues in this hive. Um, I may just uh, I may just checkerboard a frame or two. I may bring a couple of these outside frames closer to the middle so that they continue to build those out and she can lay in there. Because again. Like, there's not enough buildup here to add a second brood box, I don't think. If you add the second brood box before they filled out a good eight or nine frames, then they'll never fit, fill out those lower frames. They'll just move on up into the middle. So I don't want that to happen. So um, I may just uh, do some checkerboarding just to sort of entice them to do it that way. Wow, another tremendous brood frame. Looking for a queen on here. Wow, beautiful. And again, you wouldn't expect to see a queen on here because their job is done, right? The brood is capped, it's laid. Now the the uh, nurse bees tend to it, and off you go. Now the next frame is just full of ble full of bees. So maybe she's going to be here. Who knows? Touch of smoke. Beekeeping in shorts again today. I don't know if you can see them, but it's hot. I mean, it's not as hot as it has been. Earlier in the week, we were pushing mid 90s, high 90s. Now we're in the mid 80s, which is why I came out today. Because, uh, Today I'll only sweat 10 pounds off instead of 20 pounds. Wow, another tremendous frame, oh my gosh. Now look at what they've done here, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of like a Tetris game. Look at how fat they've built up the sides where the honey is. Let's see how I can hold this best. See how wide that is and how narrow that is? And then the next frame is the opposite. They've built the middle out and the outsides not so much. That does happen when you uh, when you're mixing built-out frames with uh, with brand new undrawn frames. It's just uh, the way it happens sometimes. Sometimes the drought is not so even. You can decide later on whether or not you want to change that. So again, I haven't found the queen. But I'm not too worried about it. She's in here. The box looks amazing. I may pull out the last frame just to show you what I mean by the funny way that they're building it out. It's like a Tetris game, so it fits perfectly. 
you saw how the previous frame had the outsides drawn way, way out. Well, this is the opposite. Here, the inside is drawn way, way out. The outside's not drawn so much. And this is a problem. You shouldn't have that comb sticking out there. I'm going to remove that so that uh, the box stays a little more even. If not, the frames won't close properly. So let's get rid of that right now. It's a shame to take away that beautiful comb, but I will keep it. I will eventually render it. And the rest we'll put back together. So I will remove the burr comb on the top of the hive as well. Take that home with some honey in it. Go on. And that's it. This hive is fine. I'm going to checkerboard a couple of these frames. I think maybe I'll put one right in here. Because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, brood activity right in this spot right here. Right in these two frames. So I'm going to put one empty one right there. And maybe move another empty one in there in that vicinity as well. So that way, they'll keep... Uh, Keep filling up root, keep building this hive. So successful uh, nuke implantation. I wouldn't add the second brood box yet. I'd like to see them build it out a little, bit, a little bit more. I will take this frame here and move it maybe into here so that uh, they build that out with brood as well. So that's it for my first two nukes of the year. Hopefully my only two nukes of the year. I got two splits going as well. And thanks for joining me at 40 Honey.